My name is Pretty Okafo of the Junior Pretty fame. We're the pioneers of Afro hip hop that has transcended to Afro beats. And I'm currently the national president of the Performing Musicians Employers Association of Nigeria, PIMA. Portfolio. Yeah, portfolio. Let me see responsibility. Um, I grew up watching Jimmy and Brady. Um, can you just briefly summarize how long your career as a duo span? It's a long. We we actually started in nineteen ninety, but uh, our first song was dropped in nineteen ninety two, nineteen ninety one. Uh, going to 1992. Uh, second album was done in 1994. And third album was done in 1997. So um, it's, it, it was good. It, it, was, it, was, it was great. The first album, which is Monica, 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 actually sold us around Nigeria as a whole. We were playing gigs around the country. But when we released Monica, which is the second album, when we released Bolandi, which is the second album, uh, that's when we started experiencing playing concerts and touring around Africa. Um, it, it was huge. People got excited. We were playing more of Ghana because this is a particular song in, in one of our albums that has to do with Ghanaian lover. So they loved it. They were. It was a, like a passionate song for them, so they were always bringing us into playing gigs and all that. No, no, that was Ghanaian Love. It is a particular. Okay, song. Yeah, okay. No, Bolanle took us around Africa. We were playing gigs oh. everywhere, but uh, for Ghana, we were like repeating Ghana almost like in, in a month we should be in Ghana like twice. So there's a particular song, Ghanaian Lover. Uh, so they, they loved it. it was, the redeem was was beautiful. It was it was more of um, our African thing folklore, which they, everybody know pretty uh, junior and pretty for. Then um, showing the dexterity in how we could uh, mix and match the high life, the Afro beat, the 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 guitar, the the lead guitar, the conga drums, the bass guitar representing hip hop tune. So it, it was it was fun and um, pushed us more to play more gigs, um, which which actually delivered. Why these young boys that started singing at at the tender age of fifteen suddenly started taking over. Um, Africa, the continent. At that time, you were how old, sir? In the fifteen. Yo. Yeah. yeah, you know, it was uh, five years older than me. Oh, wow. so, so at the time I was fifteen, you know, I was already twenty. Wow. Were you were like uh, the same height? height yes. Uh, not the same. I'm, I'm, t, 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 when he passed, may he so rest in peace. I was taller. Wow. And you're 15, you're 20, and you're taller than me then. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so uh, how many albums were you able to achieve? Three albums. We did, we did three. <coughs> Excuse me. We did three. One with Storm. Storm is owned by Ulisa Deboa, Namde Neli, and Obi Asika. Okay. Uh, they were the... Younger new new flesh re record label record company then, but the major record company were uh, Premier Music, which is Polygram, and Sony Music and Ivory Music. But because our 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 sound was new, because it was strange, so those older record labels didn't want to take risk with us until Storm came and they were excited and took a risk. Guess what? They took a risk with Monica and it was everywhere. It sold to the extent they were too young. They were also young. 
young boys uh, they couldn't manage the expectation they couldn't manage the excitement they couldn't manage the demand so it was still them that broke out the deal how the same premier music polygram that rejected that brand of music uh, years back had to sign us as their biggest act and uh, we had uh, then the sign on fee that was huge Your, the last album you had, in the three albums you released, what year was the last album you released? I said 1997. 1997. That's a very early career. And you said both of you pioneered the Afro sound then. The last, yeah, the first one was 1991, okay. which is Monica. Uh, but the last album, uh, which is Fatima, was 1997. And uh, during those times, you were involved, you were having shows and you were traveling. And yes, we first we were the, the youngest act to play in a touring company. It was um, Golden Tones. I don't know if you had a Golden Tones. Yeah, you should be too young there. Yeah, yeah there's, there's a it was a, a tobacco company oh. called Benson and Hedges Golden oh. Tones. Oh. So, so um, we were the, we were the 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 youngest act. Uh, um, I didn't actually play. They didn't allow us to play until I, when I turned I think twenty or nineteen. But when I when we got assigned, it was I was like eighteen. They refused because we're big, we're huge, we're like them whiskey and Bonner Boy. Now we're huge. They they refused. They were we're very popular everywhere. You need to put us before your gig to work. But because of the British people, because of their laws, they were waited. They waited until I turned, I think until I turned 19, before they now started putting us on, on big concerts and uh, um, everything started looking, looking like uh, it's going to work. And then we were being paid in pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, Nigeria. Was it wasn't in dollars. We've been paying in pounds. It was huge. Like I said, we. I think it was just destiny. Oh. We started a brand of music that nobody believed it was going to work. Suddenly, it started working. We started getting paid. We're the youngest in the history of Nigeria. We're the youngest act that ever released an album and it sold and started playing gigs, started playing tour. So, all those things that is happening now that families are allowing young people to, it was from Junior Page that it started. Oh. 